In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this multi-purpose PowerPoint template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've taken the example of business startup. And when I click, this will start rotating. And then I have put a plan, write a plan, find investors, marketing research, and set business goals. So all these things I'm going to explain one by one uh, in each slide. So when I click, it will show write a plan so that you can put a plan for your startup. And then you can find the investors. You can add your own text here. Then we are talking about the market research. And the last thing is set business goals. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes and select rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rectangle, make the height as 6.5 and width as 10 inches and just make it a little curve. Center align and align middle, make it no outline and give some dark color. I've used this color and then I can just press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Right mouse click go to format shape and you can increase the transparency level. This is I'm doing for giving a shadow effect and then send this to back and adjust it uh, just slightly which is uh, something like this. Just make it somewhat visible from the right bottom and you go to insert shapes and select one more rectangle this is to draw a white page make this as a six inches and then the width can be nine or basically which should be maybe 9.5 and make it no outline and you can give a gradient fill for this give some light gray and a white color I'm going to insert a line here. Hold the shift key while dragging the line so it will give you the perfect shape and then give some dotted line for this. Go to insert and select our oval shape and give the same color as of the background which is the dark uh, gray color make it no outline and you can give some shadow effect for this select this option and you can increase the distance and make the height and width as 0.25 inches and bring it here it's better to zoom it zoom the slide i think the blur is too much so i'm just going to reduce the quantity of the the size of the blur okay this is okay now i'm going to add some the spiral kind of thing go to shapes under flow chart select this uh, terminator just reduce the size make it no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill which should look like something a uh, kind of a a silver So both ends I'm just going to make a dark gray color and then I'm going to add one more which I'm going to add a white color to it and one more stop make it one more white and you can add one more and make it somewhat dark color.
so that it should uh, give a feeling it's is bending at the other ends at the both the ends select this add one more press control d and just align it properly So this is how it looks like and select these options uh, objects and group it and then you can reduce the slide size and then press ctrl D and add 8 or 9. Select the spiral and make sure it is uh, properly aligned and is distributed properly now I'm going to add some effect here the shadow effect here If you see the size, the, uh, the height of this is 6 inches, so I'm just going to create a 4 uh, dividers. The, should, the size should be 1.5 inches. So 1.5 into 4, it will be 6. So you'll get the perfect alignment then. Press Ctrl D and change the color and bring it here. You need to, you need to spend a little bit of time here to do a proper alignment. this you can give some different color and the last one is somewhat I'm going to use a blue color make sure that it is properly aligned go to insert shapes and select a right triangle draw the triangle something like this with this much size make it no outline and go to rotate flip vertical and then flip horizontal bring to the end of the page and give some gradient fill so it will give you kind of a, a page the shadow effect there and then I'm just going to copy Alright, my design is almost ready now, so I have to add some icons and the text. Here I have added some icons which I have downloaded from the nounproject.com. So I'm just going to add the icons here. You can go to www.thenounproject.com to download the fonts for free, sorry the icons for free. Go to insert and you can just type the headings. Mm. 
make it Oswald and you can add one more text with some detailed description to it You can group this by pressing Ctrl G and then Ctrl D to duplicate it and you can change your text with your own text. And I've added some animation which I've taken from my own uh, uh, tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to create all these gears and with animation. Maybe in the next tutorial, I can show you to you. And add the, the main headline here or the title here. and give some gradient fill so this is how the your first main slide looks like and you can duplicate this slide by pressing ctrl D and I'm just going to add the first page which is the yellow color just copy this one and bring till last so we are going to have the four pages here if you want you can have five six so you have to improve increase your uh, options in the first slide group this uh, both the rectangles and place it exactly over the first page and then bring this spiral effect to the front and then you can add your main title or the, the subtitles here And I'm going to go to the transitions and I'm going to select a transition effect called page curl. So this is how it look like. So I have used the same animation for the rest of my pages. So when I click, it will show you this one. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.